welcome back to Sadie B has you covered. I'm back with another video and I'm going to be reviewing the models own palette, the supernatural models own palette. So models own is a new, I would say kind of drugstore brand. I found them in Ulta not too long ago and I decided to pick up a few palettes, try them out, see what I thought about it. And today that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to show you some swatches of the product now and then we're going to get into the look I did with my eyes that I have on already. Okay guys? So this is the palette. Oh, let me show you guys the box. Cute box. Here's the palette here. And I'm going to do some swatches and I'm gonna kind of go in order of the names of them. The names are not inside the palette. Um, they're on the back. I don't know if you guys are big on names. I'm not really big on names when it's a palette. If I'm buying individuals and I'm big on names because I wanna make sure I know what I'm buying again. So we're going to start with Paranormal. We're gonna swatch that here. Let me get to where you guys can see. So that is Paranormal. And then we're gonna go in with Mystery, or I'm sorry, yeah, Mystery. Really good pigment there. Now we're going to take Celestial. Really pretty green. And then this is Spiritual. Spiritual's another really pretty one. And then Mythical. Mythical's matte. So let's check that one out. And then we have Mystic, which is another matte. That one doesn't really show up that well on my skin tone. And then we're gonna do Eternal. Now that one is a little underperforming. Okay, I'm surprised by that because most of the shimmers have showed up so nicely. Okay, we're gonna take Phantom next, which is another matte, a cool tone matte. And then we have two more, we have Curse. I don't know how I feel about that name, you guys. But Curse, which is a plum tone. And then we have, Phenom is this Phenomenal? Oh yeah, it's Phenomenal, okay. There's Phenomenal, which is gorgeous. I feel like I picked all the great performing for this look and I did not do it intentionally. In this eye look, we're going to be using Phenomenal. We use Mystic and the, um, let me see which one is, why do I keep saying Mystic? We use Mystery in the outer corner, and then I used another color palette in my crease, but we used these two colors and they performed well. So let's get right into this tutorial so you can see how well they performed and blended out, and then I'll discuss the product a little bit more at the end of this tutorial. All right, you guys, I already have one eye done, and we're going to do this eye. I'm gonna talk about how I think the product performs, and so let's get right, right on into this. I'm going to pin my hair back so you guys can see fully what I'm doing. Isn't that cute? Okay. <laughs> so, starting off, I'm going to be using a crease color from another palette because a palette like this which has a lot of shimmery shades, a lot of deeper jewel tone shades, isn't necessarily gonna have a crease color. I originally was gonna go with this, but I'd have to really prime my eyes to get that color to show up on my skin tone. So I'm going to be taking my Tartlet and Bloom palette, wherever that is. Okay, here it is. You guys, my palette is so tired, um, but I'm going to be taking Rebel, which is my favorite crease color, as you can see, because I've hit pan, if I'm holding it down here. Here you go, guys. Um, Rebel is my favorite crease color. It is gone. This is one of my favorite palettes. It has colors for every single day. This tart. Tartlet and Bloom palette is wonderful. It is great for every day. I am a warm tone girl all the way when it comes to my eyeshadows. So I'm going to be taking this 
Luxie, um, let me see what number, 249 brush. I got this in my Ipsy February bag. If you guys haven't checked out that video, go check it out so you can see, the, you know, the kind of samples that you get in an Ipsy bag. Um, so I'm going to take Rebel and I'm going to put it in my crease and we're going to blend that out. So this is my first time using this brush as well. So we're gonna see how it performs. Super soft, really easy to blend. Okay, you guys, I'm blending it lighter towards the brow bone. I'm going back in with a little bit more color, but I'm also gonna go with a lighter hand to kind of airbrush that out and into the brow. So this is in my crease and on my brow bone. All right. So now I'm going to take the Models Own palette, which I keep saying Models Own. Models Ink. No, it is Models Own. What is wrong with me today? Models Own Mercedes. Okay. So I'm going to be taking this dark color right here and I'm going to be putting it in the crease. That color, the uh, layout for the names is completely opposite than I'm looking at it in this mirror. So excuse me, guys. <laughs> It's mystery, okay. We're gonna be taking mystery and we're gonna be putting it in the outer V. I have it in the outer V over here. So far, I love the way that blended out. I mean, what am I talking about? That wasn't the model's own palette. Of course you love the way it blended it out. It was your tartlet palette, it was your boo. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this mystic. And we're gonna put it in the outer V here. Now, when I'm doing the darker colors in the V of my eye, I like to really pack it on near the lash line to deepen the look right there. And then I'm going to take one more dip back in and I'm going to bring it a little bit in towards the corner of my eye, but not all the way there. Look at that, you guys, that color is gorgeous. And usually when you're putting a shimmer in the crease, they can be a little patchy depending on how chunky the shimmer um, eyeshadow is, but that is beautiful plum color. So now we're going to take Phenomenon, which is at the end here. I used it already on this eye, of course. So I'm going to press it on the lid of my eye, on the inner lid of my eye, and then I'm going to wet it to get a little bit more sheen out of it and put it I mean, to see if it brightens it a little bit more. As you can see, it's pretty bright here. But I want, I've seen it already, but I wanna show you guys how much more intense it gets when you wet it. So if you have a shimmery eyeshadow and you want a more intense look, spray your brush with a setting spray and it'll in, um, intensify the, the shimmer. So this is it without wetting the brush yet. I wet the other side, you guys. So the other side of the brush is wet, but it, it's dry now from where I did my other eye. So that's it without any setting spray to wet the brush. So now I'm gonna put more product on my brush. And now we're gonna spray it with a little bit of makeup setting spray. He 
guys see how that intensified the, the color and the shine? Really got more of a, an intense look. Sometimes they can be a little dusty and sparse, these shimmers, if you don't wet them. So now I'm going to go back in with the brush I use with my crease color and I'm going, no, I'm sorry, with the brush that I use for that deep plum in the outer V. And I'm going to swipe it underneath my waterline here. Okay, you guys, I finished off that eye look with some Lash Paradise. I'm going to do my lips now, and then I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts on the palette. So for my lips, I'm using NYX um, Suede Matte Lip Crayon in Brooklyn. Oh no, I'm sorry, Club Hopper. Excuse me. So we're gonna line my lips. I always like to press down, you guys, after I line my bottom lip. And then we're gonna be putting Ashton on by Anastasia. Now this liquid lipstick and this, this is a nude that is so gorgeous and it's everybody, anybody can wear this nude, it is, Really pretty. But I'm not the biggest fan of this applicator, you guys. It um is too fat and too flimsy. It doesn't allow me to be as precise as I want to. Now, when I put such a deep liner with a color so light like this, I go over the liner completely so the liner doesn't overshadow the color. Okay, you guys, my thoughts overall on this model's own palette, the Supernatural version, because there are like a gazillion palettes they have, you guys. They have the Barely There One, Barely There Two, Supernatural, some pastels, some really bright colors. There's a lot in this line. Um, but my overall thoughts is that the pigment was a one great pigment um, as you saw from the swatches earlier they go on really really well they blended really well and I didn't do a more dramatic look with some of the jewel tones but I wanted to go with more of an everyday look something that matched my shirt and this did perfectly I am so pleased with the way this came out like I'm really excited. I can't wait to try my Barely There 2 palette. Thank you guys for joining me and come back. I will be back with another upload on Sunday. I will see you guys then. Kisses. Bye.